Welcome to the Always Changing Video. This puberty education video is separated into three sections. The first section is Girls Only and includes hygiene and female growth and development information. During this segment, you will see the word girls in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. The second section is Boys Only and includes hygiene and male growth and development information. During this segment, you will see the word boys in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. The third section is co-ed and includes hygiene, female growth and development, and male growth and development information. During this segment, you will see the word co-ed in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Please consult the instructor's guide if you need further instructions. Okay guys, a couple things before the bell rings. Now I'm sure I need to remind you that next week is the last week of school. Yay! Okay, 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 but we still have a couple important things to cover. Next Tuesday, we're gonna be showing the videos on puberty and health class. Remember to have your parents sign your permission slips. Extra copies if you need them. And if they have any questions, I'm happy to talk to them. And second, next Wednesday is our field day. It should be lots of fun. Be sure and have your parents sign the consent forms and don't forget to sign up for your activities. Okay, have a great weekend, everybody. No running. Bye. So get to my house by 7 tonight, okay? I can't wait. Yeah, let's stay up all night. Yeah. Yeah. John Laswell. Dad, it's me. Hey, hi, honey. Hey, how long are you working? I'm supposed to be at Megan's by 7 tonight. I should be getting out of here on time, but your stepmom can drive you over. Amanda always gets off earlier than I do. I know. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Oh, nothing. I better go so I can finish getting ready. Okay, sweetie, remember, Amanda can ride you over if you want. Thanks, Dad. Cassie, I love you. Love you, too. Oh, darling. So what activities did you guys sign up for, for a field day? I don't know. I think soccer. Yeah, we have to play soccer, definitely. You guys want to? Yeah. I want to. Yeah. What about you, Samantha? Yeah, why not? Hey, girls, hope you're ready for popcorn. Yeah. Maybe in a sec. Just gotta... <laughs> oh, I'll be back in a minute. What's wrong with her? Hey, Allison, is there something you need? I don't know. I just started my period. Oh. Have you? I've never had one before. Well, sweetie, don't worry. I've been there a million times myself. Come on. Let's see. The first thing is, we give you something to use. Has your mom talked to you about that? Well, she's talked to me about it, but I've never used one. It's really easy. They stick right on your underwear. Oh, and those things go around the sides? Right. See, you're already ahead of the game. Well, will I need more than one? One will last you overnight. But since I have the feeling that you girls are going to be up for a while, you might want to change right before you go to bed. They recommend every four to six hours just to come in here and help yourself. Oh, and here's what you do with the used one. Just wrap it up in the wrapper that it comes in. Or you can use toilet paper. And then just throw it in the garbage can. They don't flush, so be sure you don't try that, okay? Okay, thanks. Oh, and Allison. Yeah? 
If you feel like you want to call your mom, you can, okay? Well, I want to stay here. Can I tell her tomorrow? Of course you can, sweetie. I just wanted to be sure that you felt okay about everything. If you have any more questions, be sure and just ask her. It'll make you feel better. I know. And I'll probably have to get more of those things, too, I guess. Once you talk to your mom, the two of you together can figure out what's right for you. There are a lot of choices, so you can get the best fit for your body. Miss Jordan? Yes? Well, would the other girls know? Not unless you want to tell them. Well, it's just that I don't think any of them have started yet, and it makes me feel really weird. I know. You probably won't believe this now, but eventually you're going to be so used to it, you'll hardly even notice it. If sometime tonight you decide you need something, come get me, okay? That's what moms are for, even your friends' moms. Thanks, Mrs. Jordan. Okay, rise and shine, Joseph. Ready to play the champion? Mm -hmm. You wish. You know you got a big field day next week, huh? Huh? Uh. <laughs> better play better than that. Look, you distracted uh. me with the big flapping arm. <laughs> better than your big flapping mouth. Let's go. <laughs> Man, this isn't fair. You're taller than me. You know what they say, Joseph. You gotta learn how to play with the big boys. Forget it. Come on now, Joseph. I know you're not gonna quit that easily, right? Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Why do I even bother? I'm never gonna be tall enough to really play. Joseph, come on now. You're a fifth grader. I'm a senior in high school. There's a big difference. I know. I'm serious, man. When I was your age, you were what? A little bratty four-year-old? <laughs> Anyways, I was the same size as you. Well, when did you start growing? About the eighth grade. You probably will too. But even if you don't start growing right then, you're gonna grow. <laughs> it just takes time. Anyway, I can tell you're growing. For real? How? <laughs> well, Dad did give you the little uh, shower and deodorant talk, right? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so, uh, did you listen? What do you mean? I mean, are you using the deodorant? I know you want to take out the opposing team and all, but smelling them out is not the way to do it. I took a shower last night. <laughs> well, do us all a favor. Take a shower today and every day, okay? And make sure you use the deodorant. You'll especially need it after sweating out a game with the enforcer. <laughs> Which reminds me, change your clothes after you play every game, okay? Boys aren't supposed to be all perfumey. I'm not saying you're supposed to get all perfumey and stuff. Just make sure you take care of yourself. And those girls, they don't get all perfumey by accident, you know. They take showers and use deodorant too. Hey, just look on the bright side. All these changes just means that you're starting to grow up. Okay, thanks. Yeah, now, show me what you got. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> Did you have fun at your sleepover? Yeah, we painted our nails. Ooh, very nice indeed. I bet you didn't get much sleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. Just try to get enough the rest of the weekend. Sleep at your age is very important. Oh, yeah. Mom, I need you to sign another permission slip. Oh, another video? Oh, field day. That sounds fun. I guess. It doesn't? Well, you had to play a sport, and I'm not good at anything. Oh, Samantha, that's not true. You went at the science fair this year, and you do amazing artwork. I don't think there's a field day category for that. <laughs> I just mean you're good at lots of things. Except for phys ed. Well, I wasn't very athletic either. I mean, I couldn't hit a ball, I couldn't make baskets, but I was good at other things. Why can't I just be like Megan? She's good at everything and she's not fat. Okay, number one, nobody is good at everything. And Samantha, you're not fat. You're growing. You're just a little bigger. Fat! Honey, I know you don't want to hear this, but putting on a little weight at your age is actually normal. I mean, if I let you eat donuts at every meal and you never got back on your bike, that could become a problem. But everyone's different. 
it's still important for you to get out and get some exercise that you think is fun and for you to eat healthy. Remember, I had to get on your brother about sitting in front of the TV eating junk food. I know. I've been eating more fruit. <laughs> That's good, because eating healthy is good for more than just weight. It helps keep your skin clear, and it makes your hair even shinier. Can it make me good at sports? Well, the important thing is just do your best. But I know you'll find a way of having fun that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I had a question. Okay, shoot. What if Mrs. Jordan hadn't been there? I mean, what if next time I start my period during a big game or something? Well, after you've been menstruating for a while, it'll, it'll happen on a more regular schedule. About once a month, every 28 days or so. If you like, we can chart it on the calendar for you so that you'll know pretty much when it's coming. But for now, we'll just be prepared. We'll put together a little kit for you. A kit? Mm -hmm. Just a pad and a change of underwear. You can carry that around in your backpack pretty easily, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? What? I wish I didn't have to deal with any of this. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> I totally understand that feeling, honey. I felt exactly the same way when I was your age. But it's, it's just a part of growing up. I know there's a lot to adjust to, but there's a lot that you're going to love, too. Yeah. And you know what else, Allison? What? You're dealing with everything so well. Growing up means being more responsible for yourself. And you have really shown just how responsible you can be. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Amanda, can you assign something from school? Sure. Did your dad see it? No. Well, it's for this video. Oh, I see. And you didn't want to show it to your dad. I was going to, but then I just felt really weird about it. Kind of embarrassed. Yeah. Well, I understand that. But you know you can talk to your dad or me about anything, right? I know, but this is just different. I mean, how much does he even know about this stuff? Well, of course, your dad doesn't really know what having a period is like, but he does understand how it happens. Well, what if it happened to me? Would he have to know that? Well, when you do start your period, or if you have questions before you start, you can always talk to me or your dad, whichever you're comfortable with. But we both love you, so there's nothing to worry about as far as him knowing. Everybody grows up just like you're growing up. And I think everybody goes through times when they feel embarrassed about what's happening to their bodies. But you know what? It's a normal part of life. And your body is nothing to be ashamed of. Okay. Tell you what, once you watch the video at school, if you have any questions for me or for your father, you can ask us. You can even write them down if you want. Think that'd be okay? Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, now boys, we'll have you go with Mr. Becker. And girls, if we can have you move up into the front seats, then we'll get the video started. Okay, when the video's over, you can ask any questions you have, and Miss Davis and I will do our best to answer them, okay? Here we go. Growing up to be a woman. Well, it doesn't happen that fast. Phew! It all starts here, in a part of the brain called the pituitary gland. As a girl begins puberty, the pituitary gland sends a signal to the ovaries to begin making the hormone estrogen. The estrogen that a girl's ovaries make during puberty travels throughout her body, causing many changes. These changes include growth of pubic hair, hair under the arms, and on the legs. The body shape becomes softer and curvier, the waist gets smaller, and the hips become wider, and the breasts get fuller. These changes are also signs that the menstrual cycle may be starting soon. 
So, other than changing the size of a girl's jeans, why does puberty happen at all? It all has to do with getting the body ready for reproduction. Each month, the pituitary gland and ovaries produce hormones, which cause an egg in one of the ovaries to mature and ripen. At the same time, the lining of the uterus begins to thicken, forming a soft cushion of blood and tissue called the endometrium. When the egg is fully mature, it is released by the ovary into the fallopian tube. The egg then begins its journey through the fallopian tube towards the uterus. While in the fallopian tube, if the egg is fertilized by a sperm from a male, it then attaches itself in the endometrial lining on the inside wall of the uterus. The endometrium is rich in blood and other tissue to nourish the fertilized egg. Here, over the next nine months, the egg grows into a baby. Most of the time, however, the egg is not fertilized by a sperm and the newly grown portion of the endometrial lining begins to break down. The tissues of the lining and the egg disintegrate and slide off the walls of the uterus. The blood and watery tissue from the lining collect in the bottom of the uterus. This collection of blood and tissue is known as the menstrual flow. The tiny cervical canal that runs through the center of the cervix opens up just enough to allow the blood to leave the uterus. The blood then flows out of the vaginal opening. It does not come out all at once, but rather over a period of several days. This is what is called menstruation, or having a period. Growing up to be a woman. Well, we've learned it takes more time than that. But it certainly is a fascinating journey. All right, who has a question? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's start off with one of the questions that one of you put in the question box. Okay, someone wants to know, how do you know when you're going to start your period for the first time? Miss Davis? Well, there is no way to predict it completely. It would be a lot easier if there were. But there are some signs, like your breasts have grown some, or you've noticed pubic hair. And you usually first have some vaginal discharge. I know, but it's nothing to worry about. It's just a little bit of clear or whitish fluid that you might see in your underpants. It's your signal that you're almost ready to menstruate. Samantha. How much blood do you lose? It varies, but it's generally about half a cup over the course of three to seven days. You don't lose it all at once. Megan. Well, when you're on your period, how many times a day are you supposed to change your pad? I'd say change your pad every four to six hours. Now, when you're on your period, you still have to take care of your body just like any other day, which means take a shower or a bath, which is even more important when you enter puberty. See, even as a kid, your eccrine glands produced moisture, sweat, that regulated your body temperature, but when you start puberty, your hormones stimulate a type of sweat gland known as the apocrine gland. When the fluid it produces mixes with bacteria, it can cause body odor. Something else your body will start producing is called sebum. That's an oily substance that can cause pimples. All of this is why it's important to wash your hair and face often and use a good deodorant or antiperspirant. Allison? When my mom gets crabby about something, she always makes a joke that she has PMS. Is that something I'm gonna get? What your mom's joking about is called premenstrual syndrome. It's a term to describe how some women feel before they get their periods. They might have mood swings or feel kind of irritable. I'd say some women get moody, some don't, and some just joke about it. But like everything else, making sure you get enough exercise, sleep, and proper nutrition should help. Does having a period mean you're ready to have babies? That's an excellent question. <laughs> now technically, when you have your period, that means your body's physically mature, so you could get pregnant. But there's a big difference between being physically able to have a baby and actually being ready to have a baby. You all are young. You have a lot of learning and fun times ahead of you. And none of you are ready for the responsibility of having children. 
Do periods hurt? Sometimes girls experience cramps. Those happen because your uterus contracts when it's shedding its lining. It just depends on the girl. Exercise usually helps cramps or could even prevent them. Or you could take a hot bath or use a heating pad. Sorry, no getting out of phys ed. <laughs> okay, girls, we're gonna need to wrap this up. On your way out, Miss Davis is gonna hand you a packet. It's gonna have some pads and a booklet with more information. Be sure and put it in your book bag and take it home. You guys asked some very good questions today. And if you have any more questions, feel free to talk to me or Miss Davis or your parents. Okay? Great.